And how you guys doing? You know, this has been a very serious situation in reference to the hostage kidnapping situation. You have to understand, these people have tried to hold me hostage over 30 fucking times in the past 40 fucking years or something, you know. You know, this is, this is not a joke. You know, they've kidnapped me from New York. I've been kidnapped from North Carolina when I was younger. I was kidnapped from California several times. People have tried to kidnap me on jobs. People have tried to kidnap me at the grocery stores. People have tried to kidnap me in different places. People have tried to injure me in different places. You know, there's procedure documents specifically for my protection because of how many times people have tried to kidnap me. There's, there's reports of people trying to kidnap me from my job, people trying to knock me out, and people grabbing me and trying to run off with me, like two or three people and shit. You know, there's laws. Look at the information of how many bodyguards I'm supposed to have. In reference to my mother and father's estates and in reference to my career in Hollywood. Look at how many bodyguards. It's on record. It's, it's supposed to be advertised how many bodyguards I'm supposed to have. In reference to these psychos or whoever these people are holding me hostage and people kidnapping me. I mean, they've tried to kidnap me several times. We need people that have witnessed and seen these things to uh, make YouTube videos. People that have tried to approach me with weapons. People that's tried to kidnap me. People that's tried to rape me. People that's tried to fabricate diseases as their way of trying to murder me. You know, this information all has to be documented. And pretty much all the businesses I go to always have cameras. So, you know, in reference to uh, government people or government men trying to kidnap me and trying to steal my sperm and trying to steal my blood and people trying to steal parts, uh, trying to steal my penis and people damaging my teeth. All those incidents have to be on record. Does everybody know that? The name of the individuals, their fingerprints, their identity, their race and religion, all has to be documented. And this has happened so many times. And the museums, hello, how you doing? They have to have that on record too. So it's, it's one of those things where this is not a joke. This is something that's went on. And, you know, I think I'm a pretty good, attra attractive individual. But, you know, these people have damaged my teeth. And my teeth are trying to heal. You know, and these people doing these things, and yet I've not received any compensation. And there, how many court cases? We need the number of court cases that there have been on record on a website, too. How many court cases there has been about people holding me hostage, people stealing from me, people trying to steal my identity? You know, there's got to be categories of listings of. Well, there's like 300 people trying to steal my identity. Or there's, you know, uh, 400 people that's tried to kidnap me. And, you know, how many times people have shot at me? How many times people have tried to injure me? I have nothing to do with none of these people. I'm supposed to be at my mother and father's mansions. I'm supposed to be, you know, at my mother and father's companies, too, in the offices. And look at the information in reference to ownership laws in reference to just case any person tried to enslave me at my own mother and father's companies. You ever heard of those situations? Like they got those things where if somebody has to pick up, if a person was the owner of a company and they had to pick up things off the floor at their own company, when there's people, people that are hired to sweep or people that do certain jobs, you know, in reference to uh, corporate abuse. You know, it's never signed, never, never gave, never, never sold, never. I'm the owner of my mother and father's companies forever, no matter what. And in reference to people slandering my intellect, people trying to play their uh, accusations and their manipulations of them slandering my character, those have to be court cases too. Everybody knows that. So in reference to the information, you know, on procedures, you know, on the information about how many times people have tried to kidnap me, people have tried to steal from me, people have tried to trespass on my mother and father's properties, people trying to play this Cinderella hostage game. Like, you've seen the movie Cinderella where these people made Cinderella into a slave 
when Cinderella was like the rich person in the film. I guess you call this a Cinderella man thing or Cinderella boy situation of where men tried to steal my mother and father's companies from me when my father died and when they murdered my mother. That's violation of corporate licensing and lulls too. So in reference to people, people need to know that information and it needs to be advertised or published in museums too. And who these people are and what race and religion they are that are blocking me from my benefits and monies that I was supposed to have received. In reference to government making up lies. Where these people try to say, they'll try to say something like, oh, they thought you did this. No, I don't do those kinds of things. And what was you doing trying to make accusations against me? You'll say, oh, because of this person. No, I don't have nothing to do with that person. I have nothing to do with anybody's tricks, man. Things don't work like that. You don't have no right just making accusations and and depriving me of my rights and my monies and my benefits that I was supposed to have received. You need to go into court, government man.